Hey, you hungry? You want some bologna? You want some ham? You want some chicken? You want all three? Well, I've got just the thing for you. It's Bristol Brand Luncheon Loaf. A salty, spiced cube of meat, combining chicken and ham with baked ham seasonings in a generous helping of good old-fashioned smoke. Great for sandwiches, and even better straight out of the can. Does this exist? How does this exist? Y'all out there might know your good buddy hottie Scotty Pancake 603 as that weird guy on YouTube who comes up with the strange metaphors. The guy who you have no idea what the heck is, what kind of gears are spinning around or not spinning around in his brain, but he comes up with these strange comparisons that seems like he's just pulling them not out of his brain but out of his ass. I got a hell of one for you today. Picture food quality, actual food quality, and that goes for how good it is for you and how good it tastes, is an actual building. And the levels of food quality are actual floors in this building. What would such a building look like? Well, you'd have your top floor would be like, like all your protein shakes and all like, like your lemon, your, your wheatgrass shakes, stuff that's like ultra good for you. Food is practically steroids and make you bigger and stronger. Right below that, you have like your, your food at your, your higher restaurants and stuff like that. Uppity people eat all this food. In the middle level, you probably have like your, 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 your middling restaurants, like your Applebee's and like TGI Fridays, stuff like that. And just under that, you have like your fast food restaurants. You have McDonald's, you have Burger King. On your bottom level, this is dirt floor level, you have all your foods that have preservatives and stuff that's not good for you, microwavable dinners and stuff of that nature. That's the bottom floor. Suppose some twat came along and decided, you know what? This building needs a basement! So he gets a whole bunch of friends, he brings some shovel, they start digging and digging and digging, and like, wow, this, this floor is giving away really easy. Let's keep going really as deep as we can. And they keep going and going and going. And, and they never hit any, any like hard patches. They just keep digging forever. And they add infinite amounts of floors beneath the building. Where would classic luncheon loaf fit on the levels of food quality? What floor would you find this? You know what? A long time ago, a long time ago, probably even before episode 100, I reviewed Spam, and I was scared going into that. And Spam, as much as I liked it or didn't like it, because in the long run, it didn't taste that bad, but it's Z-grade meat. Z-grade! It means it's the dirt poor, worst parts of the animal, if there even are parts of the animal. There's probably parts of like shoes and like dead squirrels in there as well. Z-level meat, that's what you call it. It's, it's even worse than a beef jerky. What? And I'm about to twist your brain and all of its, all of its cerebral juices. What is grade Z-level spam then? It blows the mind! You're, you can't read that far! The, this, the print is way too small! We're talking sub-atomic levels of bad! Classic luncheon loaf. Even the name of it. I think of, I think of that movie Snowpiercer, and I'm sorry, spoilers on this movie because there's no way to talk about this unless I talk about this specific plot thread. They, you know, the prisoners aboard this train, the, all of life's, like, the, the, the population of the Earth were limited to this train that was just circling the globe forever. I know, pretty cool concept, right? But they, you know, the people at the end of the train were like your lower class citizens. The people at the front of the train were like all the, well, fuff, 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 the guys who would be at the top of the, the, the food tower eating all that fine cuisine. Um, the people at the end of the train were forced to eat this stuff called loaf. <laughs> Luncheon loaf, right? I mean, coinky dink? I think not, because it's just an un it's just an unappealing word, loaf. Ugh. But anyway, they found out at the end that this stuff was actually ground up cockroaches that they caught from all around the train, I guess, and they're like in a mincing machine, and and you, and you wondered like what the hell gave it that color? It was like kind of like a, a really deep brown, and it kind of shined when you like you glanced up to the light. Yeah, that's cockroach shell you're looking at. I wonder what the heck makes it glisten like this when I, I tilt it up to the light. <sighs> Good lordy bagordy, why do I do this to myself? I am so not ready for this, my stomach is still recovering. <sighs> Z-level spam, that is what we're dealing with here, people. 
It smells rancid, just like the Spam did, only on different levels. It sm it's got a very, very strong ham smell. Ugh, look at this. Ugh, good grief. Oh. <coughs> the smell is gonna make you wanna barf right here. And oh my, there's like discolored portions of it. If I could just show this to your attention, we've got like a sal saliva texture liquid up here. And it's almost like an off yellow. Maybe I should eat that part first because that part, I mean, maybe that's not supposed to be here, but I should, you know, I should penalize it if I find something that's, that's wrong with it. So I should go for that first, right? What the frick is wrong with me? I don't want to touch it, but I'm going to have to in order to <laughs> and normally there would be a part of the show where I would put it up to my nose and, and let you know what the nose knows. I don't need to do that. The whole room smells like this. It's just... <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna take my first bite. I'm gonna let you know what lunch and loaf tastes like. Definitely not Spam. Spam? This Spam tastes like Thanksgiving dinner compared to this. I don't know if it's trying to be Spam because it really does have kind of a different taste. What's in here? I know it's ham. We have chicken, ham, and baked ham seasoning smoke flavor. Okay, because it tastes way more than ha like ham than anything else. If you like ham, you might th like this a little better. I think ham is okay. I can take it. I can eat it on a holiday. But when you're eating it out of a can covered in jelly, you can't get that out of your mind. It oh, I wish I could be on a motorcycle and driving far, far away. It's like, it is so strong. Like this ham taste. I don't know what they did to multiply the taste of ham and just the texture of it. It's like so, it feels like you're sticking a, an animal's tongue in your mouth. That's because it's cold and it's wet. It's a little, I mean, it's soft, but at the same time, kind, kind of rough. Spam tasted more like an amalgamation of ingredients and it had its own flavor. This tastes like it wants to be ham and it's failing miserably. Do I loaf this? Oh no, I do not loaf this at all! <coughs> so if I were to give this a off rating, this is going to be my last one for the day. This really took a lot out of me. I'll give it one and a half halves, I guess? Because people who like ham, they're not going to see this as big and egregious error as I did. Sorry if I got it all over my mouth, but I really did not want to swallow this once it was in my mouth cavity. So if I'm drooling any all over myself, how can you blame me? But yeah, it's, it's sub-level spam. You're not going to like it. Just because you like spam, you might want to save some money and, and buy yourself some Bristol lunch and loaf. Um, give it a try. I'm saying right here, don't do that. Just don't play with your body like that. It's just... <coughs> Don't. It's... What are you thinking? I can understand maybe trying to get, like, go store brand if you're buying, like, cereals or, or even, like, meat and stuff like that, but not this. Not, that's not something that's so dirt-level poor in the first place. Go with the big brand, because otherwise you have no idea, no idea where this is coming from. Lips, hooves, and assholes? You think that's in here? <laughs> You'd be lucky to find that, those kind of parts in here. I guarantee that there aren't any animal parts in here. These are probably... <sighs> I should stop now. This is your good buddy Hottie Scotty Pancake 603 saying until next time, where I once again ask the question, is it yuck, is it yum, or is it yuck or yum? <laughs>
sorry, sons of bitches! Did you know there's a way to communicate with your buddies over there and wherever the hell using nothing but the interwebs? Introducing the brand new AOL Instant Messenger! You do your little tinkly tink on your new fangled keyboard machine, you wait a few seconds, and wham! Your buddy over there and wherever the hell responds back to you! How in the hell do they do it? I don't need all this fancy technology on the old BSR. Just give me a hunting rifle and some kettle belch and one genuine Ted Fowler. And maybe a brand new Pearl River beer clock hand spin around that son of a bitch like a rotisserie chicken. Or how about my personal Pearl River beer clock hand spin around that son of a bitch like a rotisserie chicken?